What's up, y'all? This is uh, Hustle the Trucker coming into y'all with uh, my first video of this new journey. Um, so my backstory is that uh, I was the owner operator. Um, started back in, I want to say April of last year. Um, had a lot of ups and downs, uh, highs and lows. <laughs> It's been an interesting journey, a very humbling journey. I think I jumped out here a little too soon before I really knew what I was getting myself into. And so, uh, I really take responsibility for a lot of things that I have done and in turn things that have happened to my business. I started off with one truck that I bought from a place down in South Carolina. It was a 2007 Volvo. Hella issues, man hella issues and uh it just <laughs> oh my bad y'all let me put the seatbelt on for you for your boy get a seatbelt ticket i'm just pulling out the house but um but yeah um had this 2007 volvo man it just wouldn't get right man it would not get right put about 25 bands in the truck and she still wasn't doing right man so the place that i got it from was a bi little buy here pay here place they was willing to work with your boy on the credit and everything. And uh, needless to say, uh, the truck that I bought was a piece of shit. <laughs> Turned out to be a real piece of shit. But um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I bought another truck out of necessity instead of growing organically. And uh, you should never, you should never do that. If you're getting into this game, never grow out of necessity always let it be organic and natural because uh, when you do that um, you're always fighting against the grain so I would never recommend doing that learn from my mistakes um, so yeah I, I ended up uh, leasing on to this company after I bought the second truck um, I, I bought a Freightliner Cascadia for my second truck it was a great truck good truck decent warranty but um my wife, she didn't want me out on the road anymore, so we, uh, so I hired a driver to put on the truck, and uh, the truck started doing well. I thought the driver was doing everything he's supposed to do. We were making some good money. Added a third truck, another Freightliner Cascadia, bought from uh, LRM Leasing in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. But uh, that was another great truck, another great truck. I drove that truck myself. Uh, me and the wife had a conversation. She allowed me to go back out on the road for a little bit and uh, made good money with that truck too. So um, thing, things were starting to look up until about two months ago. Um, the driver that I thought was doing such a great job, apparently he wasn't uh, doing his pre-trips or draining his tanks. Needless to say, that fucked, that fucked the whole system up. It, it, it tore everything up. It was about eight, about eight, yeah, about eight grand in repairs that I didn't have at the time. So uh, the truck just kind of sat at the uh, at the dealership, at the Freightliner dealership up in Pennsylvania, waiting to get fixed. And uh, that's when I had to really make some tough decisions. Uh, so I let go of I let go of the Volvo and. The second truck, the Freightliner that I bought, uh, I had to let those trucks go in order to maintain uh, a float. So now I'm stuck with just the one truck. I'm gonna I'm show it to you. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to see if I can flip this camera around. Maybe I'll just uh, turn it around and, and show it to you when I get out the car, pulling up to the truck now. But um. Yeah, I'm down to just one truck now, just me and the truck, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get this thing right, man. I'm starting a new new venture with a new company. Hopefully, uh, it'll be a mutually beneficial arrangement, and uh, we're gonna try to get it popping. Um, I'm leaving out tonight to head down to the orientation for tomorrow morning, and uh, we're gonna see what it do, what it do. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hop out the truck real quick, throw everything in the, I mean, I'm gonna hop out the whip, throw everything in the truck, and uh, we're gonna see, I'll see y'all in a minute.
So yeah, just uh, just doing my stuff in the truck, man. Um, I've been down for like two and a half weeks in the process of starting with this new uh, this new company that I'm leasing on to. So yeah, I'm over here getting ready to park the whip. I'm gonna try to make it do what it do, man. Just trying to provide for my family, grow this business. That's, that's that's what we're trying to do over here. Just trying to live. Just trying to live. I know, man, y'all hearing this whole seatbelt situation going on. I'm just parking the whip, man. That's all. That's all. Park the whip. Yank the brake. Turn the car off. Make sure I got everything because I'm going to be gone for a few days. Hopefully, I'll be back by New Year. Just trying to, uh, Just trying to make it happen, man. Just trying to make it happen. So yeah, let me hop about the hop about the whip. Grab my mount, cause I'm gonna need that, cause the other one in the truck broke. I don't know how the hell that happened. But uh but yeah man. Lock the whip up. You know, it's my that's my whip right there, a little two style 2007 Honda Accord. You know, Got the Patriots join on the tag on the front. You know, that's my baby right there. She been doing me right. Ain't really giving me no problems. It ain't no beam of Benz or Bentley or nothing, but she get the job done. Lock her up. Y'all heard it. She's secure. She good. So now, I'm trying to walk down here to the truck. I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm working with. So it turns out, <laughs> it's my first video I'm ever recording. I don't know how to turn the hell to uh, turn the damn camera around. So, but um, I'm out here. I'm trying to... Y'all can see that's uh, that's uh, blackberry molasses sitting down there, midnight black sitting back there, black and chrome. You know what I'm saying? She uh, she get the job done, man. She's we've been through some things. She got me out of some tight situations, but uh, yeah, man. We walk down here to this truck, get everything set up, throw some fuel in there, and then I'm gonna head on down to to the orientation. I'll holler at y'all in a minute when I get in the truck, get everything set up. Yeah, so uh, your boy all set up. I'm getting ready to pull out and uh, head on down to this orientation for tomorrow morning. I'll get there tonight and stay in the hotel. Um, I'm about to go and hit the, uh, the fuel island, get a little bit of fuel, and get on down to this orientation. It sucks that I gotta leave right now. I know I'm gonna miss uh, a couple of a couple of quarters of the. Uh, you know, LeBron, Steph Curry joint that's going down tonight. But um, that's all right. It ain't no big thing. Um, yeah, man, I'm just kind of excited to be, getting, to be getting started, man. It's a fresh start. Like I said, man, humble beginnings. Thought I was a big dog. <laughs> got humble. Seriously got humble. But um, I'm out here for a fresh start. Ain't giving up. Gonna keep pushing. I'll holler at y'all down in, uh, in GA. Better.